I've been sent another plane from Banggood. This is the Skywalker Falcon. It's got nothing, it actually looks nothing like the Skywalker, um, either the X568 or whatever, or even the the other one, the one I've got. Yeah, that one. The quality is the usual sort of superb actually, there's no dinks in it, no nothing. Uh, there's a place under there for your ESC or you can put your lunch in there or, or a small dog I suppose. Um, this is going to be a bit of a waste of time for hand launching it because you can't grab that. It's going to be a wing launch, discus launch this is anyway. Um, flight controller wherever you want to put it. Self explanatory. You also get the canopy. Now I like this because being the perfectionist that I am, I can put this exactly how I want. So I can glue that perfect and then I can put it on last instead of having it, you know. Anyway, so that's that. You get two wings. <coughs> A left one and a right one. Servos go in there, spar goes across there. Now this, I like the idea of this and I wish everybody else would do it. These ailerons, elevons, that was the one, these elevons haven't been cut out as you can see. And I can cut them out myself and I can do a perfect job being a perfectionist that I am. So, and I like that because they're big, full length of the wing, absolutely fantastic. Uh, spar goes in there, and then obviously a spar goes across there for the two wings, like that. But they sit like that. Oh shit. So that's that. You also get the winglets, uh, which you have to cut yourself again. Uh, they go on the end of the wings. Like that. Although they're probably going to break on the first crash. I don't know why I keep saying crash. I mean, I have had successful flights. It's very rare, but I do get a successful flight every now and again. You get three carbon spars. You've got two for the bottom of the wings. Like that. One for each of those. And then obviously you've got your main spar which goes in the top there and then across the fuselage like that. That's backwards. Actually. Oh hey that'll look good. <laughs> no. So you get those and you also get a tub of glue. And I'm gonna try this glue. Uh, the last one I had in my I think it was my Sky Hunter. Uh, the glue was all dried up, so I couldn't use it, but I'm going to try that. Motor mount. I don't know why, but you get a couple of servo uh, extenders for some reason. I don't know why. Control horns. Or oh, elevate the one here, you know what they are. Uh, control rods, which I'm not going to be using. I'll show you something when, during the build. Um, now on this is, I think, a brilliant idea. Brilliant. You've got a magnet that you stick on. You stick on there, sort of. And then on the lid, on the hatch, you put this piece of Meccano, you stick it in there like that. I think that's a brilliant idea. And it should hold. Um, you also get not one, not two, but three. And they called collets, I suppose they are. For I don't know. There's no screw. There's no. There's no grub screws in them. Have I lost the grub screws? Oh no, there's the screws. You do get the screws with it. Although I'm not going to be using them because I don't, I, d I just don't trust things like that. So I use my own method, which I'll show you in a minute. 
This is a clevis. Uh, I've got a few of them. Actually, I've bought loads of them because they're only about 60p each. So what you do, this is a carbon rod. It's a 1.8mm carbon rod and these have got a 2mm hole. And you don't want a 2mm rod because it won't fit, believe it or not. And the 1.8mm fits perfectly. Well, I can actually get it under the grub screws. Good idea, Tony. I'll take the grub screw out. Undo the grub screw. Anyway, that slides in there as normal. Like that. And then you, you put the other end on, and then you cut it to length, whatever length you want, and then you've got a perfectly, perfectly square adjuster on there. They're fantastic. So I've got loads of them. I've got loads. I'm going to be using those. I'm going to be using those on everything now. Because they, they, I used them on my Skywalker, the big one. Uh, Sky Hunter. And they are fantastic. I mean, that, that doesn't... It's not going to bend under, under tension or anything else like that. And they are actually lighter and stronger than these things. That's the same pressure on it. Because obviously it's carbon fibre. So use those. Is a wing. I decided I was going to put some hinges on this. So these are actually pinned hinges. Uh, there's three of them. One in the middle, two on the end. Um, as you can see I've put the servo horn control rods and everything else. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. These servos I'm using are AGM AGM ESO8 MDs uh, purely because I've got them, no other reason. They're cheap, cheerful and they do the job. Uh, these servos I don't know if this thing is made for big servos but you can see how far that goes in there. It's also nice to see that they've actually put the servo control horns and everything else on the top of the ser of, on the top of the wing to stop turbulence because um, obviously this is the low this is the high pressure side and you get a lot more turbulence if you put the control linkages on the bottom. Does that make sense? You get a lot less turbulence on there anyway. So that's that done. So I'm going to put the carbon spar in there, which I should have done before I put that on because I need to put it down flat and press on it, but there you go. Stupid. Um, and what's next? I'm going to put the Easy UHF in one of the wings and I'm going to put the GPS in the other one, I think. Um, I don't know yet. I don't fully know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be yeah. I'm going to be running easy UHF on this. Um, I might put 5.8 in the middle, and then I may put the GPS over on the other wing to get the maximum separation that I can, and then leave just a fuse large, just for being a fuse large and holding all the electronics. Although that is electronics, and so is the VTX, and so is the GPS. I forgot to show you the stickers that you get with it. Decal, decal, whatever you want to call them. Loads of choice. Well, bit of choice. Personally, I don't like them. I just don't like stickers. I don't know why. I just don't. I'm going to be covering the wings in wing tape anyway, just for a bit of strengthening. Um, I don't know. I might do. Might not. Don't know yet. I'm going to get a lot of haters on this, but I've decided I'm going to be using the Beta Flight F3, I think it is. Uh, it's got an OSD there, it's got a current sensor there, or thereabouts. Uh, it's a PDB, it's basically everything, all in one little package. It does Beta Flight, unfortunately it's not supported under iNav at the minute. So I am going to flash it with beta flight, um, and I'm going to use that. Put the easy UHF on the right hand wing. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to cover this with tape. I might do, just to be 100%, but it's, it's quite tight in there. That's what she said. So, 
that's that. I've got to put the spar in and then I can route those wires in there um, and straighten the air a little bit. So that's that one. And on the other one I've got a 5.8 200 milliwatt there which is just slightly proud of the top just to give it some air flow. Um, and again I've got to uh, put the spar in and then I can route those wires. I'll put the winglets on which are just drying. So that's the wings done so now I'm going to move my way on to the fuselage. Because this beta flight has got motor mounts obviously there's four motor mounts on the underside which you can't see at the minute um, I can plug anything into it and it will sense the current coming from wherever so I've got things like this Fox Air HS 1177 I think it is what is it? sorry XAT600M which is the HS 1177 so I'm going to be using that because it's what I've got I've got a couple of them in it actually so I'm going to be using that I'm going to be using this micro GPS which I think I'm probably going to put somewhere around here on whichever side the receiver is which is the right hand wing so that's going to go on there um, and that's it camera's going to go on the front obviously it looks stupid on the back wouldn't be able to see a damn thing but then again I might be able to fly better there's an idea no so I'm going to put the camera or cut the mount for the camera somewhere I don't know where yet and then uh, don't know well believe it or not the fuselage is virtually finished GPS and flight controller going back about I don't know 12 months ago I suppose you used to have a flight controller then you'd have an OSD you'd have a current sensor and a voltage sensor and that's it it's all there so obviously the only external bits the GPS that gets a brilliant signal actually I'm quite amazed with it and I do like this frame because it's so before you put it all together you can lay everything out like that so I've got the Fox Air HS 1177 on the front so that's going to go in nose first um, I haven't put the battery connector on because I don't know how long this this leads going to be yet um, I don't know where the CG is going to be or anything so that's going to be one of the last things I do but that goes I, I'm, I'm shocked um, the ESC is on the bottom. I've, I've decided that's the perfect place for it because it's going to get loads of airflow under there to keep that cool. That is actually a 30 amp ESC. Um, Tiger MT2216, 1100 kV. Don't know what size prop I'm going to put on it yet. I think it's going to be an 8, eight inch prop. Don't know, it might be a 9. Don't know. So that's it. So what I've got to do next is um, put the spar through and glue the wings on so as I can plug everything into it. But how tidy is that? That's brilliant. Finished. This is the Skywalker Falcon. Uh, I know I haven't shown much of a build video but it's just to show you what's possible. Uh, servos ES 80MD or ESO 8MD, I can't remember what they are. Um, in here, I've, what I've done with this is you can't see the front but there's a little cocktail stick just sticking out there and a hole in the top just because I don't like I don't like to have that not supported at the front because that's likely to blow off and the back is just with the magnets which seems to be alright of course in flight will be different <laughs> so that's that I've got two 1400 um, are they 14 or 13? 1300 4S LIHV batteries that's going to get the perfect CG, which is 235 mil, I think it is, from the leading from the from the nose. So that's done in there. 
There's a naze in there, if I take that out, I haven't put Velcro on it yet. Uh, the naze in there, and I know I said I wouldn't ever use a flight controller that isn't specifically designed for planes, but I'd already fitted it, and I wasn't going to rip it out again. Aeromax, which is connected to the naze, gets all the flight day, day, details, data, whatever else, and it displays it on screen. LC filter and a 5 volt BEC, BEC. Done. GPS, sorry, as well. So that's all done. It's all ready for its maiden. Um, I'm using a 9x5 prop because that's what I've got. Unless I chop the end off and make it into an 8x5. Don't know yet. Might be able to find another prop for it. Finished. Ready. Oh. I'm using 5.8 video. I'm using UHF. Nice combination. <laughs> and under here I've just got some wing tape just because I didn't like those joins on there. It just looked untidy and it looks even more untidy now. Oh, 30 amp ESC, uh, which I have decided to put there. I just can't land in wet grass because it's just going to act as a scoop. Perfect place to put the ESC. I don't, I don't understand why everybody else hasn't done that. So there you go, it's all done, it's all ready. I quite enjoyed this because everything's so easy to lay out because it's all there, it's all, you know. These things look absolutely brilliant. I don't know what it'll fly like yet. I'm hoping it's going to be good because if it looks like it flies then I'll be happy. Now I like this because I'm a uh, perfectionist, as probably you all right over your bollocks. <laughs> What's the word? Clevis. It's a clevis. What's the plural of clevis? Clevi. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Uh, wires to motor and It's power distribution, so there's got mo the 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 bollocks. ESC goes to there. Signal wire is there. And now I was doing well. Look at that.